Today I'm going to be doing a review on a product that was sent to me by the lovely people at Beauty Chamber. Now if you haven't checked out Beauty Chamber, I'm going to put a link to their website and the information bar below. It's actually a site that I use quite a lot. Um, I have ordered quite a few um, bits and pieces off there in the past. It's a great place to order makeup and beauty items from. And they do have a really great selection. And they have a range on there called Neve Cosmetics, which I'm very interested in. And they actually um, offered to let me review this palette for them. Now, I was actually looking at the Neve Cosmetics and I've put things in my basket before um, and then just thought, no, I'm gonna wait until I can afford it more. Um, because I was going to buy one of the empty palettes and then I was going to put some eyeshadows in it but I thought no actually I really would prefer to buy one of the eyeshadow palettes which is just such bright colours, it's beautiful so I'm definitely going to purchase that in the future but some of the cosmetics on there from Neve Cosmetics are actually quite affordable there's pencils from like 3 dollars there's some really great colours, there's some lip pencils and they're really nice packaging, they look great, they're actually an Italian company so they sent me the Blushissimi palette to review. Now I've actually had this, I want to say a couple of weeks ago, it's possibly been a month, but I've actually been using this consistently. Um, this is the only thing I've probably used for the last fortnight at least, definitely, for blushes. I've not used anything else at all. And I've really been enjoying using this palette. And excuse me, sniffy, I've got another cold. Um, but yes, this palette itself, it comes in a plastic palette case. So the lid itself is a little bit flimsy, it's quite thin sort of plastic and there's no mirror in there which is a little bit of a shame but on the bottom you can actually feel that where the pans are set into is very heavy and weighty so this is actually very sturdy at the bottom. So this is actually quite a sturdy palette when you get to the bottom of it so that's actually really good and these have actually got 10 blushes in. I don't think you can pop these ones out, I'm not entirely sure though, I haven't really tried to do that um, but it just clips shut and it's got like a little sort of thing there you just push your thumb in it opens very easily stays open i one thing that i really do hate about packaging is when these are really flippy and they either flip all the way back or they just flip around this actually stays up quite nicely and if you wanted to you could actually get a little mirror or a mirror tile and actually just glue it in there which would actually be really nice so that's something i might actually do with this so as i say i've been using this every day and what you do get in here you get some highlight shades some blushes and some contour or bronze and shades and i feel like it's a really good mix there's nothing too bright in here that it could put you off buying it say if you didn't like to wear bright blushes you might think oh well that's nice but there are a couple of colours in there that aren't for me these aren't like that there's nothing in there that is really too out there the brightest ones I would say are this one here which is called Jam and this one here which is called Sunset and um, these are quite bright colours they're quite different I mean particularly Sunset which is definitely a very orangey sort of peach colour um, but and there it is there it's it's still wearable the thing is with these are, are they're very pigmented blushes and just the lightest of touch gets you some color and enough to do a really nice finish on your cheeks now i've actually got something that i love to wear emoticon and sunset mixed together and then I use Starfish um, highlighter over the top of it. So I've actually got that on today. I really love how natural it looks. And like I said, if you put a light enough touch on the brush, you can just get a nice light dusting of colour. And it's better to build blush than to go too heavy because it's always quite difficult to get blush off once it's on if you put too much. So the great thing about these is they blend so beautifully. They mix really well together, um, which is why I've been using these two together because this is a nice dusky pink and then a bright peach. And when they're mixed together, they just give a love, lovely sort of peachy pink glow to the cheeks. And then the highlighters in this palette are just outstanding. I mean, these two here, Starfish and Plastic, are just beautiful. And then I love these contour shades which are called Chocolate and California. Um, yes, I know the names off by heart now because uh, I've just been absolutely loving this palette. And what I wanted to do is once I received it, I was quite tempted to do the review straight, straight away because I just thought this is a really lovely palette. I really like it and I'd used it one day, but I really wanted to give this palette a good go so I could give you a proper review of the actual palette and let you know what I'm thinking because I've used every color in this palette now and I've actually contoured today with chocolate 
I'm still getting used to contouring, but you can see it a little bit. <laughs> I'm not quite there with contouring. So even this colour here, Bikini, which is quite a bronzer sort of highlight, it's got like a nice brown, browny sort of highlight. Even though I'm not huge on brown on my cheeks, I've actually used that as well. And I've used that with Jam. And I feel like those two together worked quite well because the brighter sort of pink with the bronze, it really did, they just complemented each other really well. There are so many different combinations that you can actually put together from this palette. And I'd love to see them do another one of these palettes with bright colours um, because I'm so impressed with these blushes. And I think they're really good value. I think this retails for around £25 on their website. And, you know, it's really great if you were travelling. It's really quite slim. So it'd be quite handy to, to just put in your bag. And it's just got... It's highlight, contour, bronze, bl blush. You can't go wrong. It's got everything in there. Whether you want to go more subtle with your highlight with something like Starfish or Bikini, or whether you want to go all out and have a really sort of ivory champagne glow with um, plastic, um, I think they're just really great. It's just got such a nice combination. There's nothing in here too bright, so if you are after bright colours, it's really probably not the palette for you. And they do actually sell these palettes um, empty, so you can actually put your own in. Now, I don't know if they do the blush pans, but I do know they do the eyeshadow pans because that's what I'm going to be getting. But I think they probably will do the blush pans as well. And you can actually make up your own palette um, of your own colours. And they've got some great eyeshadow palettes. There's pages and pages of Neve Cosmetics on Beauty Chamber, so it's well worth checking out. It's the first thing that I've had from this brand, but I definitely love this. And now I'm going to buy more from this brand because I've been so impressed with how amazing these are. All of them are pigmented. All of them blend beautifully. They mix really well. So I just feel like... There's nothing in this palette that actually lets it down and as I say I've just used it every day and I've used every colour and I'm really quite surprised myself because some of these colours I wouldn't have automatically thought they were for me. So the least used one for me I would say at the moment is Passion Fruit because this is um, really quite a dark brown. Um, what's it there? So you can see. It's really very dark. I mean it will blend out and you can, with a light hand you can you know, there it is quite smudged out, but it's also very shimmery. So it's not something you could put all over your face. And I would say that's something that's very suitable for ladies of medium to dark skin tones. Or if you've got a tan, that probably look really great on your cheekbones. I don't tend to tan, um, so I haven't really used that over much. I did use a tiny touch of it and I mixed it with bikini to put it on my cheek. And it was quite nice. Um, that little bit of depth to it was actually really quite nice. Um, but it had the pink under it, so I felt like... It's not a colour I would use on its own, it's definitely a colour I would mix with others. So that is the Blushissimi palette and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to insert a little video showing you the swatches up close and the colours up close and I hope you've enjoyed this video and I want to thank Beauty Chamber for sending me this to review. I've really enjoyed using it and I would definitely highly recommend it and as I said all the links to Beauty Chamber are in the information bar below and a link to this palette is there as well. So here is the palette up close. As you can see, there are some beautiful, beautiful colours in this palette. You've got some nice contours and some beautiful highlights. And I'm going to go through and swatch everything for you. I've used everything in the palette. Some colours I love more than others. Um, and some colours are probably more appropriate. Although, to be honest, I have actually worn every colour in this palette. And there's nothing that I don't like in this palette. I think they're really nice shades. I think that they should do a bright coloured one. But this is probably really suitable for everybody. Um, it's got something for everybody and the colours aren't too out there. So let's get to swatching. So this first colour is actually a lovely bright pink called Jam. Really pretty colour. And you don't really need to touch them very much to get a really good um, colour payoff. And that is what that one looks like. As you can see, it's got quite a nice bit of sheen to it. And that is quite vibrant. But if you have a light hand, uh, it's actually really nice and it blends out beautifully, as you can see. The next colour in the palette is a slightly softer pink. It's a bit more of a dusky pink and this one is called Emoticon. Now, I absolutely love Emoticon. Um, I've actually been wearing this one a lot. And that is what that one looks like there. So as you can see, it is just a very dusky baby sort of pink colour. Really, really beautiful colour, this one. The next colour is called Sunset. It's a very soft peach colour. It's really nice. And that's what it looks like. Now this one, um, I do wear. 
I have one, but I tend to mix it with a Morticon to make a very beautiful baby peachy pink colour because I do feel that it has quite a lot of orange tones to it, this one. Um, so this isn't something I probably wear on its own, although maybe in the summer I might consider that. The next colour is another pink. Now, as you can see, that's more of a dusky muted pink. This again is quite a bright pink, but it's not as bright as the first colour. Um, this almost has a little hint of sort of mauvey pinkness to it. And that's that one there. So as you can see, it's nice and bright. It's quite candy pink, but it's nothing that's not incredibly wearable. This one is very pretty and I have used that one a lot. And then the last one in here is Starfish. And this one is actually a beautiful highlight. It's got a lot of shimmer to it. That's it there. As you can see, you can see a lovely glow. Now this one to me does have a border of peachy pinkness to it, as you can see. You can see the peach in there. There is a little hint of pink, but it's more of a peach sort of highlight. Really, really pretty. Bikini is this one, which is a bronze coloured highlight. Now this one, I wasn't too sure about until I used it, because I'm not a one for browns really, but it's the most beautiful bronzy sort of highlight. And when you get it on, and particularly with, um, like I said, I like to mix Sunset and Emoticon together. Once you put them on and then put this over the top, um, it's just really, really beautiful. It's really nice. So I really like this colour actually. The next colour is called Passion Fruit. This is another bronze sort of shiny sort of shade, very shimmery. But perfect for a highlight. As you can see there, that's a touch darker. That's probably something I wouldn't use right now. But if I did catch the sun or use any kind of sun tanning products in the summer, this is definitely something I'd put on my cheeks. And the next one is called Chocolate. This is more of a contour powder. It's a little less shimmery. That's it there. I'm going to go to the other hand. And as you can see, that's just, it's got less shimmer to it and it is a really nice brown. Um, it's its a good contour colour. Then you've got California. Now this is the colour I've been using to contour and this is just, I love this one. It's really soft. So, and what I love about this is just, it's, it is there. It's the perfect contour colour for me because I'm very fair. And as you can see, they just blend really nicely. You know, they don't blend completely away, but you can work with them. Yeah, so yeah, that's a really nice contour colour for me. Either chocolate or California are your contour shades in here. And then the last one, which I just can't get enough of, is called Plastic and it's a highlighter. Now I would recommend, well I wouldn't recommend, I would um, sort of compare this to Lights Capade and also to um, Mary Luminizer by The Balm and to Smashbox Soft Lights in Pearl because this white is just really nice. It's got like an ivory so it's not bright white on your skin but it just has, look at that sheen, it just creates the most beautiful gorgeous glow on the skin. Really really beautiful. It's a really gorgeous palette and I would say it's a must-have for anybody's collection. So that's it for today's review. Hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. I'm gonna love you and leave you and see you soon. And don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Hi! Jingle bell